I'm Shlomo Katash, and I'm running for president. And I'm asking for your vote because I believe that this campaign is different. Because from day one, this hasn't been a campaign about me or what I would do when I'm president, but about you and what you could do to change the school forever. Those are the types of people that power this school. The type of people who look at any challenge and know that no obstacle can stand in the way of hundreds of voices clamoring for change. The type of people who know that there's no false thing about hope. The type of people who respond to anybody who say that a problem is too difficult for us to do by saying, yes, we can. For they know what Isaiah told us. For they know that as long as we put our hope in God, we can survive any challenge, we can soar like eagles, and we can run and never be weary. I'm not tired yet. And those are the types of ideals that I'll bring into office. The ideals of Moshe, when he brought the Jews out of Egypt and told them, yes, we can. The ideals of Yahshua, when he brought the Jews into the promised land and told them, yes, we can. The ideals of the founders, the modern state of Israel, who witnessed the horrors of the Holocaust and founded the Jewish state and said, yes, we can. We must start this new chapter in our life by repeating in every corner of the school, from the gym to Crawford's, yes, we can. That's my vision for the school, and I hope you share it. Thank you. A little girl once had a dream. She wanted to rule the world one day. She would pass laws where everyone had to be friends, and there were no such things as problems. As this little girl grew up, however, she was not able to visualize her imagination. She became disheartened and grew to believe that her dream would never become a reality. But over the years, she learned that everything she dreamed of cannot be forced, but could be created. You can't force people to become friends, but you can create friendships. You can't magically make problems disappear, but you can create solutions for them. This little girl was then filled with joy and began to embark on her mission to create a warm and happy world. And this little girl is me. Hi, I'm Serena Shaloub, and I'd love to be your future SGO president. From when I was young, I came up with crazy ideas. Most of the time, they were shut down because they were unrealistic. I hated that excuse and wouldn't stand for it. I learned that some things are definitely easier said than done, but that doesn't mean they're impossible. So I built a character of determination, commitment, and motivation. Remember I said I wanted a warm and happy world? Well, Yeshiva Flapash is our world. These four years of high school are crucial years of our lives. It's where we work, learn, socialize with our friends, and express ourselves. It's where we grow academically, religiously, spiritually, and morally. But I'm a strong believer that the atmosphere in which we grow is the key component for success in these four years. And making that atmosphere the warmest and best it could be is my goal. However, this would not be possible without all of you. The idea of warmth and happiness is up to us. Bereshi baral alkim et Hashem began by creating a universe. He then spent six days creating nature and animals. And before he rested, he created men. We are a product of Hashem. And how amazing would it be if we can create like Hashem did? With your vote, we can fulfill my dream of creating a warm environment together. And if my dream can come true, why shouldn't yours too? Thank you so much for all of your support. Good luck to my running mate, Shlomi, and all of the other amazing SGO candidates. Dedication and reality. My name is Ricky Sasson, and I'm running for vice president of SGO. Let's face it, a lot of us have concerns. A lot of us want to be heard. And a lot of us want to make positive change. But this only gets done if we're realistic and we're determined. What do I mean by realistic? I mean bridging the gap between the student's solution and the administration's solution. For example, test schedules. What if there was one day every week with no tests? That would solve the student's problems and isn't too far-fetched for the administration either. I will be your voice in bridging that gap. And as for dedication, everyone who knows me well can attest to the fact that I never stop working toward what I have to accomplish. Every minute 
of every day until all hours in the night, and I don't plan on stopping. After the world was flooded, Hashem and Noah were looking to rebuild it. God says to Noah, Vehineni, ani mekim et beriti itchem. I will come to a solution with you. Just as God and Noah came up with solutions together, I will make sure that change will be made by emulating Noah together with God in their ways and bridging the gap between students and administrators. Reality and dedication. Vote Ricky for Vice President. Shalom Aleichem, everyone. My name is Isaac Sutton, and I'm running for next year's SGO Vice President. SGO is such an amazing group that I'd be honored to be a part of, but there's one complaint I, already hear, I always hear about SGO. They only represent this group, or they only represent that group, and I don't feel represented. I'm here to change that. There is no candidate who can relate to the majority of the students in the school the way I do. From day one in this school, I've been nothing but regular. I've never been smart, I was always just regular. I was okay with regular though, because everyone else was the same as me. I've had integrity marks in freshman year, I've overslept for a final, and I've had tons of bad report card grades the same as everyone else. That is why I'm here to make changes that benefit all of us. The number of times we're allowed to be late to Mignon, have sign-ins, and sign-outs must be raised. How is it that some of our teachers go by the testing schedule while others don't, resulting in overload of work in short amounts of times? Never giving up is a good trait of mine. I learned from the Pasuk, Ki Sheva Yifol Tzadik Vakam. You can fall and fail seven times, feel broken and be so close to giving up, but still get up and be great. Ninth grade, I tried getting into honors, but I failed. I have stories of people laughing at me for the idea of me getting into honors. But I didn't care. I worked hard, because like the Pasuk said, no matter how many times I fail, I will get up and succeed. January of sophomore year, I got into honors. I've now been in honors for over a year and have officially lived through both sides of this school. While the classic line is to hear and listen to the voices of the students, I think it's more important to understand the complaints given to SGO as well, understanding the people. So when I say I'm here to represent the people, I mean it. My voice is your voice. Any changes we want to be done next year cannot be done alone. We can make a difference together. When you hear the words power of one, what's the first thing that pops into your head? The power of one person, the power of one action, the power of one speech. Those are all correct, but I would like to share with you my power of one, and that is being fearless. In this case, fearless means giving myself and you the voice we need. We need our voices to be heard. We need our voices to be heard in the classrooms. We need our voices to ring loudly in regard to our relationships with the faculty. More than that, we need our voices to be heard by one another. I feel that I can be that leader to get our voices heard. I've watched my mother and father be leaders throughout my life. My mother is still leading day by day in the Shiva Flappish Elementary School, helping each child have the most amazing Flappish experience. I hope to be able to do that here in the high school. My father too, along with my mother, is an amazing leader. My father created the first Sephardic Shul in Rochester where I moved from. From when I was young till now, I see my parents be very active leaders. I know that I too can be an amazing leader like my parents. This is the power of one, the power of one action, the power of one lesson from a father and a mother, the power of one tefillah. The impacts could be extraordinary. A perfect example of this is Hana. Hana, at one of her biggest lows of her life, gets up and prays from the bottom of her heart to Hashem for a son. Little did she know, that this prayer brought B'nai Israel, one of the greatest leaders, Shmuel Hanavi. This is the power of one. And I truly believe that I can collect a lot of ones and piece them together to make Flappish even greater than it already is. Vote Grace Medet for secretary. A world-renowned speaker once said, the role of a creative leader is not to have all the ideas. It's to create a culture where everyone can have ideas and feel that they are valued. Hi everyone, my name is Esther Spiegel and I am running for your SGO secretary. Being a leader might seem like a stressful and difficult job since all the pressure is on you. Taking charge, making big decisions, and accomplishing it all. But I disagree. 
I believe that leaders are not selfish, they are selfless. A leader isn't someone who has one opinion and is not open to change. In fact, a leader is the complete opposite of that. A leader is someone who knows that the only way to succeed is by accepting help and by hearing others' opinions in order to get the job done in a way that accommodates all. In this case, both the students and the administration. Personally, I love school. I look forward to seeing my friends every day and being in this warm and loving environment. As a leader, I will make sure that whatever I can do, I will do in order to make this school a better and more enjoyable atmosphere for all the students. When elected secretary, I will make sure that the entire student body is heard and recognized by SGO, senior council, and especially the administration. I believe that SGO must have courageous leaders in order to talk to the administration, handle school events, and accomplish our goals. Shalmah HaMelech was king of Israel and ruled with a lot of money and power. He was known for being a tough judge, but he was also known for the way he led. He was important, but what made him a great leader was his ability to engage with the nation and listen to their needs and opinions. There is no I in team. The SGO will work hand in hand with the administration to get things done, and I will make sure your voice is heard. So vote S for SAC, because in my eyes, we can only go up from here. And always remember the difference between a boss and a leader. A boss says go, and a leader says let's go. So let's go. Let's work together to better the school. Step one, vote S for Spiegel for your SGO secretary. SAT is the most important test you will ever take in your life, and many people don't realize how important it really is. Hi, I'm Michael Day, and I am running to be your next SGO treasurer. If I was elected, I would make sure that all the students and teachers know how important the SAT really is. Typically, students start studying for the SAT in junior year of high school. I would like that to change. I think they should start from freshman year, and I'll, I would like to help set up clubs and classes for all freshmen and sophomores. The current sign-in sign-out policy is that a student receives three sign-ins and three sign-outs per semester. I would like to change that. I think the student should receive six total sign-ins and sign-outs and let them be used interchangeably. Also, if the student does not use all the sign-in and sign-outs per semester, they can roll over to the next semester. As most of you may know, I am a very big Torah guy. Hababa Mokteret Nidon Hashem Sofo. As your representative and leader, I will try my hardest and do everything in my power to make next year the best year in Flavish history. With all your support and help, I know I can make a big difference in this school, and you'll be glad you be voted for my Dan as your SGO treasurer. Taking the first step. What does that even mean? Well, it could really mean anything we want. But for us, students of Yeshiva Flavish, it's making a difference. Every one of us has asked ourselves the following questions at some point in our lives. What are we doing? We work so hard and it's not translating into anything. When will everything we've been working for pay off? And instead of just sitting around and sulking, I decided to take a stand, to take my first step, which is running for your SGO treasurer. As treasurer, I hope to make all the improvements we've been waiting for. Charger stations, SAT class, interchangeable sign-in sign-outs, lay mignons, and my personal favorite, a chesed day. My goal as treasurer is to unite the student body, put all of our fears aside, and problem solve together. Just how Aaron spoke as the voice of Moshe since he was unable, I, as your SGO treasurer, will be your Aaron, will be each and every single one of your voices. In spirit of SGO and Miss Marcus, I've decided to bring in a quote from One Tree Hill. There is no shame in being afraid. Hell, we're all afraid. What you gotta do is figure out what you're afraid of because when you put a face on it, you could beat it. Better yet, you can use it. I hope to be our student body's face of change. Let's conquer our fears, work together to make our school a better place. Take your first step by voting me as your SGO treasurer. Hello fellow Flappish members. Today I'm here with you to discuss why I decided to run for commissioner at large. Everything needs a goal, and Rambam, he explains what that goal is. So in his Perusha Rambam Lava, chapter 5, directing our powers to one goal, he writes, When a person seeks to acquire wealth and property, he starts off with wealth and property because you wouldn't think that that could have a goal, but it does, if you do it for the right reasons. His intent in these endeavors should be to use these resources for beneficial purposes so that he will be able to maintain his personal existence. And the purpose of maintaining his existence should be to comprehend and know God to the fullest extent of his capacity. So what is the goal of everything in life? It's to know God. Knowing God is not only about 
growing yourself, but it's also about enriching other people's lives and letting them reach their potential and knowing that everyone has a voice. I will use this position Hashem, of commissioner at large to help enrich others' lives and help people be more than they can be. Thank you, and I can't wait to see what next week brings. Hi, I'm Madeline Rosso, and I'm running to be your junior commissioner. Why vote for me? Vote for me because once I commit myself to a cause, I give 110% of my effort. I don't spread myself thin. I will dedicate my time to the SGL for the sole purpose of making school more enjoyable. Those who know me well know that I'm persistent. I don't give up. If I'm elected, I will go to great lengths to advocate for us students. I have great ideas that I'd like to implement as both commissioner and as a member of the SGO that you can read about in my platform. The person that's smart learns from everyone. My goal is to be the voice of each and every one of you. I plan to speak with all of you on a daily basis to get your feedback and to hear what you want changed. I'm a doer. My ideas aren't just words. I'm going to translate that into action that everyone will see. I'm looking forward to the work, time, and effort it takes to serve my Flappish family. And just remember, a vote for me is a vote for us.